Hey, what's going on guys? So a couple of months ago, I made a video titled Modern Comics Are Actually Good Right Now, and I still stand by that statement, especially when it comes to superhero comics. If anything, I think they're the best they've been in a really, really long time. However, there was a video going around a week or so ago, or at the rate I put out videos, probably longer, uh, from a comic book retailer named Glenn O'Leary. He's a shop owner over at Comic Book Palace up in Massachusetts. And this thing went so viral, one could make the argument that Glenn was Magic Johnson in whiteface because everyone and their mother witnessed this man ranting and raving about how bad the current landscape of American comics is doing, especially compared to prior decades. And naturally, this spun out into the age-old comics gate versus anti-comics gate dawn of emotionally unintelligent finger pointing and slap fighting. I am so tired. Now, I worked in a comic book store for several years, so I am very sympathetic towards Glenn, despite maybe not agreeing with him 100% on all of the reasons as to why people aren't as into comics as they used to be, or why prospective buyers are just not buying right now. His big go-to argument was that comics suck right now because too many writers and artists are turning beloved comic book characters into self-inserts and radically altering characters to fit the mold of their lives rather than writing these classic characters authentic to continuity and their history. And to some degree, I see where he's coming from, and Perch did a video on this almost as soon as the Glenn video went viral, and he offered a sentiment that I think is a little more accurate in that a lot of the really bad comics that come out the past couple of years, the writers aren't writing these characters as self-inserts as much as they're writing really bland fan fiction of their own lives. But even in that analysis, I feel like even that criticism is a little dated. Like, this is not a 2023 comics problem as much as it is a 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018 era comics problem. To me, it really seems like after the pandemic, after Marvel and DC, Thanos snapped half of their writers and editors on their payroll, after a new crop of writers and editors came around in 2021 or 2022, that's really when things started to get better. That's when Philip Kennedy Johnson was put on Action Comics with Daniel Sampieri. That's when Chip Zdarsky and Marco Shishetto were on Daredevil. That's when Mark Wade returned to DC and we got World's Finest. Jeremy Adams had his run on The Flash. Somebody at DC finally let Christopher Priest write Superman and Superman Lost has been one of my favorite comics over the past year or so. JMD Mateus and Eater Messias gave us Spider-Man Lost Hunt. Probably one of the best Spider-Man stories in recent years. I mean, the bar's not that high, but still. And Venom has had back-to-back -back high quality comic book runs in the Donny Cates, Ryan Stegman run and the current series by Ram V, Al Ewing, and Kafu. Venom. And I know that's a character with a devoted fan base, but let's be honest, that nigga never has good books. So, I don't know, man. It's been a really solid couple of years, and that's just at Marvel and DC. When you look at the indies, Saga came back. Image started reprinting Astro City. Mark Miller saw the culmination of everything he's ever worked on with Big Game. The Ninja Turtles had a massive surge in comic sales with the last Ronin series, which was commercially well received to the point where every issue had a reprint. Horror comics have started to have a really strong comeback as of late. So what's the problem? Why are Glenn and so many other comic book retailers still bitching about modern comics despite the increase in quality? Reputation. American comics have earned a really negative reputation over the past decade or so. So even though the turnaround in quality has already happened, people aren't going to be looking for the good. They're going into comics with a bad faith mentality. It's sort of like, in a weird way, DC movies and the dearly, or depending on who you talk to, not so dearly departed DCEU. 
everybody hates DC movies. Everybody hates DC. Everybody knows, or at least they think they know, that a DC movie is going to be bad because the DCEU didn't make a good first impression with audiences. Never mind the fact that after Man of Steel's divisive, at best, uh, reaction and the commercial train wreck of Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice and Suicide Squad, Wonder Woman is really good. Shazam is a solid comic book movie, both of them as far as I'm concerned. The first Aquaman is a really good Aquaman adaptation. Birds of Prey, Cassandra Crane aside, is actually pretty good. James Cameron, Suicide Squad, and Peacemaker are rock solid. Zack Snyder's Justice League Director's Cut was a critical darling. The 12 people who watched Blue Beetle, including myself, really liked it. But because those first three films fumbled the bag so hard, anything that DC makes after that, it doesn't matter. As far as anyone's concerned, DC live action films are trash. And unless the next DC film is a cinematic magnum opus, like just an absolute cultural touchstone event, you know, if the credits roll and the entire theater isn't caked in semen and everyone's eyes are bleeding as though they've just witnessed the second coming of Christ without ocular protection, DC is not going to shake their reputation. And American comics are kind of in the same boat. In fact, I'd argue that they might be worse off. Because at least with the DCEU, while there were certainly people on this platform who mine Warner Brothers and DC's misfortune for content, there weren't a lot of people building entire careers off of it, like comics did for so many years. People legitimately have turned themselves into millionaires, shit-talking American comics, perpetuating negative discourse. It's become an industry in and of itself, being a comic book shock jock. Because unfortunately, negativity sells. That's just the reality. I've seen it for myself. My most popular videos are of me shitting on Dan Slott's run on The Amazing Spider-Man and bitching about Spider-Man Far From Home. The latter of which I'm still confused as to why it's my most popular video. Like, that movie is six years old. Why are y'all still watching it? I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm just confused. But to that point, compare what I'm talking about, how much I love 90s comics, or the G. Willow Wilson Miss Marvel series, or Philip Kennedy Johnson's action comics, nobody cares. It's not rage bait. And that's really what drives the algorithm, unfortunately. So it doesn't even really matter the quality of the books that we're getting right now. The major voices of comics, at least the major voices online, are dictating that comics are bad and spreading doom and gloom largely because they have to. Like, They've built their brand off comics being bad, so of course they're not going to switch gears and talk about the quality shift that would undermine everything they've built. And that also plays a major role in the ongoing mindset that American comics are bad, because that's all anyone is hearing. So that's where comics are right now. At the very least, I get to say that the comics themselves are pretty good, but that doesn't really change much in the way of discourse, does it? Anyways, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, as always, take care, guys.